Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Romas back here with M7. How you doing, M7? You like that break? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Groovy. Now, we're going to stall a little bit here for time. We're waiting for the uh, the TR faction to uh, get their butts in gear. I mean, they are traveling from Europe. You know what it's like. Airport security, that whole deal. <laughs> Sucks, man. Customs, it's, dude. It's Customs. awful. Ugh. Probably didn't declare a banana or something. Anyway. Oh, uh, goddammit. <laughs> While uh, while we're thinking here, I was looking at the turret use that came out in the last one. So, I'm starting to think of some good spots for turrets, and I saw a really good position in Bravo Point, and I was trying to think of a good turret position for Alpha Point. Now, I was looking at the corner right on the point. What do you think of that, M7? Corner of Alpha? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, especially if you want to back yourself up in the corner, literally. Uh, there's mm -hmm. quite a few places you can put inside or outside the building. It depends on what your strategy is. If you want to, you know, hold down the actual point or try to just lock down the building entirely. Yeah. Depends on what you're going for. I mean, you cover both exits from that way. The only thing is you're susceptible to nades. And there's a nice open spot there between Delta and Alpha, right next to uh, the crates in the middle of the walkway, which gives yeah, you a good line of sight there. right to Charlie. Yeah, yeah he was exactly. there a couple of times. Uh huh. But the the light assaults on top of Bravo. So powerful. I cannot get over that, how well that worked. <laughs> they did good at the beginning of the match, though, but towards the end, man, they were slacking. They were slacking. <laughs> Maybe they lost all their medical sticks. They weren't able to juice up. Who knows? <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. I didn't see much use in the second half of that. Resources are key. You have to have those Aren't in order they? to make anything make sense. Aren't they, yeah. Charlie's roof didn't come into play, and I've seen a lot of that being used before. Um, I'm not sure whether that was a particular strategy or if uh, the engineer uh, and light assault usage just negated that. What do you think? Well, Charlie, you saw it used a lot or a little? Yeah, it was one of the two. You don't get much in the uh, much in the middle ground there. And after I complained at the beginning, I don't know whether they're paying attention to the stream or not, but they did start using the ground, and I'm very <laughs> proud of them for that. Yeah. No, they definitely, I think they adapted their strategy pretty well and were able to go underneath the CRK guys. Now, one of the rules here is no grav lifts, and that's something that, that makes a lot of sense because my outfit uh, has found in, in normal play, you can actually take an engineer and stick him on top of the delta point, and he can cover Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie all with one turret. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of disappointed we can't see that because it's 100% <laughs> funny. But if you're trying for general play, give it a work there. <laughs> See if you can get your dude up there. That's it's exactly hard to right. Peel off. Yeah, like a tick. <laughs> really hard to get off. In. I think like a tick. It's like sticky tack, super glue between your fingers. You know, irritating just as anything because yeah. you know it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's frustrating you when you feel like there's somebody like invulnerable sitting up there. You know. But with the new adjustments to the tourists, have you been shooting anybody's head better lately, or? No, I really don't play any. a lot of Engineer. Uh, I, I, I have too much fun in spandex. Uh, I'm an infiltrator, so turrets are a bit too stationary for me. They're, they're my bread and butter. They're what I eat. Nom nom nom. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're sniping them or even just going around them. Can't see you. And the only downside is they're so easy to shoot. Future crew having some fun here. You can see them bouncing around on the towers on the stream. It's kind of everywhere. So, I've also been thinking... Why exactly didn't we see more fighting in the Delta Point itself? It's so easy to defend, and yet it always it didn't seem to be defended for much of a, of a long period of time. Is is the defensible nature of it make it ultimately useless because you don't want to spend your entire time in there? Um, I think it's just more of a staging area. You know what I mean? You really want to get your guys there, get ready, and then get going, push to the other points because Alpha Bravo, you know, is what you want. Delta, you want to hold that as well, but it's a little less contested of an area simply because of the way this uh, the battle flow the battle flows in this place. Absolutely, just got the ready, so it looks like Red Mist is ready to go versus the Behemoths of Future Crew. We'll see if Red Bull and Coffee can overcome the West Coast charm of Future Crew. Because <laughs> it's 1 a.m. over there, so big big round of applause for them. I clap, but Ouch. I have to hold my button down. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, we can start this off. 30 seconds to go. I'm, nice, I'm, nice, nice. I was talking with Red Mist. Now, not to give too much away, but they did seem to favor the Delta Point over everything else. Hmm. So we'll see what goes on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet they're gonna go for the, the Triangle Delta Alpha Bravo. Cause that, uh, that Charlie Point's a long way off. 
Yep, Red Mist being TR again, right? Absolutely. I tried to talk with Future Crew, but I couldn't couldn't staple them to the ground long enough to have a chat. They're very busy. So I have no idea what to expect out of them. Ten seconds to go. Well, like you said, in ten seconds, we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. So I personally love uh, the strategy that comes when you're starting. Right here, here it goes. Where do you see the TR coming out right now? I TR see the coming Summer. out of the southern. Yeah. So just completely opposite reactions. Yep. All the future crew heading to the C building out of the southern Sunday. Absolutely. So I think we're going to have a big clash at Bravo by the looks of it. They do have the light assault up on top. We uh, for Red Mist. Doing some suppression. He, they got the fire going down. Try to keep them bottled up in Charlie so they can make it to Bravo first. Very smart move, but they were able to just run right through it. Weren't too concerned. Mm -hmm. Bravo and Alpha flipping at about the same time. Absolutely. Even cap now. Let's see. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. That, that wall coming into play again. It keeps you from... It allows you to fight the, the wall there at Alpha, but... There is a turret set up inside Charlie. So that's a very smart move. Or not Charlie mm -hmm. Bravo. Future I mean. crew, yeah, future crew setting up a turret. Well, here comes the TR's turret. <laughs> Red mist. <laughs> but, man, that guy just got taken out by heavy. Just obliterated. They got bum rushed. Yeah, it wasn't able to make it effective. Now, a lot, a lot of power there. Now, Red mist doesn't have much experience in the competitive play scene, so this is kind of a trial by fire for them. They did try the old zombie tactic, the, the resin, resin run, but it didn't work out for them. So they're now facing, now facing the three cap. But they did sneak into Bravo down below. I, I didn't see them go up there, but a uh, very smooth move on their part. They knew what they're doing. Yeah, being sneaky, very smart. Oh, it was an infiltrator, but he got taken out. Bummer, bummer. <laughs> nice try. I applaud you, sir. It's hard to stay hidden for too long, especially when your team knows what they're doing. But look at this. Or they're sneaking circles. around the edge. They've completely bypassed Delta and made a rush right for the Alpha point from the Northern Sunderer. Oh, wow, and I see future crew reacting to them. They're going for A point right now to try to shut them down. We'll see what happens. I'm inside the building. Made a nice couple of nades, but they got pincered on very quickly. Mm, ouch, yeah. It's future hit crew. From all sides. Future crew has a very fast reaction time. I don't know where they're getting their intel from, but it's A1, spot on. They're now facing the four cap. Yeah, well, that's where comms comes into play, man. One guy spots a push, he calls it out. The you know, required number of people can respond. Squad lead can, you know, designate those guys and... Oh! Light Assault tried to make it up for the, the Overwatch and just got mowed down by the 6-7. Holy crud, that's most of their team pushing into Delta. It's like yeah, watching currently. a big purple steamroller. Yeah, Howie. currently from Future Crew, I'm seeing like a uh, few little groups moving together. Two guys, three guys, a few roamers, and then a big group that's just walking around. Yeah, they have people. a they have a death ball. It looks like going on. Yeah, definitely. That was a, that was a lot of Future Crew guys going to D to protect that. Very good effort, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get Delta back. They did assault on it pretty heavily. Those light assaults coming into play again. Good work, TR soldiers. Word is Ouch, in. Man. We just got an alert in a draw. Th 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 <laughs> thank you very much, server. Yeah, but ouch, man. TR, you need to push together. Yeah, Where do you see them pushing right now? Four they're kind of trickling out. in the bottom door of that L-shaped building. We at do have point? At Delta Point, yeah, they do gotcha. have two, two on the bottom floor. Dual Trying grenades. Again. Coordinated grenades was a pretty neat idea. Pushed him off the point. Now they're rushing up top. Oh, he almost had him. It was so close. Ouch, yeah, man. These future crew guys have held this forecast for too long. One yeah, minute left on the clock. I don't know if they can pull it out. They are trying their darndest to get in there. But somebody did sneak over to Charlie. They have, a, they have a bit of sneaky going on. Yeah, need to try to distract. Need to grab some points, man. Red Miss is serious trouble right now. Three points, four points, 24 seconds on the clock. We're doing good work. I'm not sure. It looks like there's an infiltrator playing hide and seek in Charlie, with the with the gentleman. He has people tied up. And that's good, but man, it's not enough. It's not enough. They don't have any points. No. Seven so... seconds left. Big oh. push from the north. It looks like, but man, just getting mowed down. The experience of future guys. crew definitely showing. 
Wow. And there Most she definitely. goes. Most Match definitely. over. Red Mist did get knocked over. Stiff Breeze <laughs> took care of them. Yep, uh, thank you, Red Mist, for playing. Try again later, guys. It's great, though. I'll, I'll give them points. Their tactics were sound. They did do a they did do a good job of trying to uh, to maintain the distraction, trying to push somewhere else. But they didn't have the the same coordination that Future Crew brings to the table. And I don't know whether that's experience in competition or nerves or lack of coffee on the fact of uh, <laughs> our our very late night Europeans participating yeah. here tonight. Or time of day too, because man, it's probably like a nine hour difference between these two teams right here. I believe it's it's 2 a.m. Central European time right now. So yeah. it was a good try on the tactics. They just didn't have the, the death ball that was brought by Future Crew. Good effort, uh, but they were unable to score uh, more than very long on that, that last uh, match. Um, I'm not sure what if it was just the coordination of Future Crew or if it was that uh, just throwing all their numbers at Red Mist all at once. What do you think, M7? Well, really great, really great uh, comms must be going on between Future Crew guys, or just, you know, checking their map, watching for pushes. I think they had a really great strategy. I really liked what I saw when I was looking at the map. They had two guys, three guys, you know, hanging back on some of the points. They had one team of about five or six moving together. Just really solid play from those guys. Really great strategies. Great use of conks. Great use of, you know, their guns. Awesome, awesome gunplay from these guys. Uh, really using corners their advantages, breaking line of sights. Future Crew knows how to play. And, uh, you know, they really brought a lot to the table. Unfortunately, Red Mist wasn't able to... <laughs> didn't have didn't have much of a response to that. Because just so powerful. Such powerful players, such...